This was the equation we looked at in the previous video. x plus 3 equals 10. I have left some space here intentionally. There are two ways in which we can solve an equation. The phrase solving an equation means finding the value of the variable that satisfies the equation. By satisfies, I mean a value of the variable that equates the left hand side and the right hand side. So our aim in linear equations is mainly to find the value of this variable x. The first method is the inverse operations method. Before you understand this method, we need to understand a simple concept. Whatever we do to the left hand side, we do the same to the right hand side. Let us choose a random number, say 5. Assume we add this number to the left hand side. For the equation to hold true, we have to add the same number to the right hand side. Similarly, if we subtract 5 from the left hand side, we have to subtract the same number from the right hand side. If we multiply the left hand side by the number, we have to multiply the right hand side by the same number. But remember, we have to multiply the entire side. But putting these brackets here, it means that we multiply the entire left hand side by 5. And if we divide the left hand side by the number, we also divide the right hand side by the same number. Note that 5 was a random number. Now you should be wondering how this concept helps us solve an equation. This concept is the crux of the inverse operations method. Just remember this concept. We move to a new page to solve a new linear equation. Say we want to solve the equation 2x plus 5 equals 13. How do we use the inverse method to solve this equation? Remember, when we have to solve such equations, our aim should be to keep only the variable on the left hand side. We have to eliminate everything else. So our first task should be to eliminate 5. So we will have to subtract 5 from the left hand side. But we just learnt a concept that said, if we subtract a number from the left hand side, we have to subtract the same number from the right hand side. Hence, we subtract 5 from both sides. We get 2x plus 5 minus 5 equal to 13 minus 5. We subtracted 5 from both sides. 5 cancels out on the left hand side and the right hand side equals 8. Hence, our equation reduces to 2x equals 8. Now, to have just the variable on the left hand side, we have to eliminate its coefficient which is 2. So we can just divide the left hand side by 2. And if we divide the left hand side by 2, we have to divide the right hand side also by 2. So we divide both sides by 2. We get 2x by 2 equals 8 by 2. 2 cancels out on the left hand side and 8 by 2 equals 4. Hence we get x equal to 4. This tells us that if you put 4 in place of x here, you will get a 13. Let's review this method quickly. Our aim was to have only the variable on the left hand side. So we first eliminated 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. And then we eliminated 2 by dividing both sides by 2 which gave us the value of x as 4. The last step after solving the equation should be to check our answer. So on the left hand side, we substitute the value of x and see if it equals the right hand side. The left hand side is 2x plus 5. Substituting 4 in place of x, we get 2 multiplied by 4 plus 5. That equals 8 plus 5, which is 13, the same as the right hand side. So we say that our value of x is correct. <laughs>